This presentation shows how to design a segmental retaining wall with visual slope. If you have not watched example 1, we encourage watch example 1 first. Segmental retaining design consists five parts. Global stability analysis, compound stability analysis, external stability analysis, internal stability analysis, and settlement analysis. Visual Slope is the only program on market can perform all those analyses. In the file select form, choose New Project option. In the General Setting form, fill out the project information, choose units to use, and set the range. Before we draw a section for analysis, let us set up the material properties first. Click the material button. In the soil property input box, you can type the soil properties in. To save time, we import material from the banks. Now let us go to Geofabric page and input a Geofabric from the bank. We will do the same thing for the wall unit. We also need to set up the connection data. Go to the connection page. Scroll down to the end of the list. Choose the wall unit and choose the geo fabric. Make sure you choose the names from the list not type in. Then type the data in. The connection data just needs to be set up once. It can be used for future project. After data setup, we can establish the cross section. We can draw the cross section. More conveniently, we use Wall Profile Generator. Click the Wall Profile Generator button. The Wall Profile Generator form appears. Type the coordinate of the toe of the wall, wall height, front slope angle, back slope angle, back slope height, reinforced zone depth. After that, choose Materials.
We can also add surcharge in. Now let us run global stability analysis and check for factor of safety. Run compound stability analysis. After finish those, let us run internal and external analyses and settlement calculation. Click analysis and choose reinforced wall analysis. The wall analysis form appears which includes data we just put in. Click analysis, external stability result, internal stability result, and settlement result are all here. Now let's see the report. Now let's try FHWA method. Now, let's use Visual Slope 2D FEM module to analyze the deformation and contact pressure. Calculate the initial condition first. To do this, we need temporarily deactivate the fill and calculate the movement and stresses under the weight of the ground. After the initial condition has been calculated, reactivate the slope. Run FEM again, but must reset the displacement before the analysis. Now, let's view the settlement and collect the base settlement data. You can also copy the data to a spreadsheet. Now, let's view the wall deflection and collect the data. We can also view the vertical stress and collect the data for contact pressure. This concludes this presentation. Thanks for watching.